Ashley, a visit from Elle McPherson. Oh my God, is this really happening? He can tell you you're undecided. Get him off there, don't let him do that. So Summers returned to the bottom two. I think it's an amazing shot, I'll give you six. But it was Laura who had to say goodbye. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Tonight, you've all been booked to walk for Swarovski at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Australia. <laughs> The girls walk in their first professional runway show. I'm looking if he can fake it. Yeah, I'm fine. So many people taking photos. I was like, holy sh. And when three top model success stories return from photo shoots. One, two, go. Beautiful. The poses that they made looked incredible. The pressure to perform. They didn't have any connection. It's probably one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever watched. Becomes all too much. You okay? to this wonderful woman from Swarovski who's invited you here today. PR and Communications Manager, Margaret Simonoska. Hi. I guess you're wondering what you're doing here at Swarovski HQ today, right? Yes. This week, it's all about learning what it's like to be a real working model. So tonight, you've all been booked to walk for Swarovski at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Australia. screamed and died a little bit. What? In a few hours, you'll be showcasing Swarovski's statement collection in front of hundreds of VIPs, celebrities and fashion media. You will be presenting the Fall Winter Crystal Galaxy Collection and the Atelier Swarovski Collection. Oh my God. We will be judging you on your walk, your attitude and the way you embody the collection. If I can give you one piece of advice... It would be, be brilliant. We are looking for the woman that sparkles. And so if that's not enough pressure, you're the only models that we're using in the whole show. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that makes me really nervous. In the last runway, I didn't do that well. And this runway, we are the only models walking for Shirovsky. I felt a lot of pressure. So the winner of this challenge will have an exclusive photo shoot and be featured nationally in stores, online and across social media for the new Swarovski Crystal Dust campaign. Swarovski is a massive international brand. Being an actual working model for Swarovski is huge. And girls, their whole life work for this. Okay, ladies, mine, let's take a look at the collection. Let's do it. I was pretty 
that's right. It's like the pieces are so beautiful. Girls, as you're trying these on, just bear in mind that modelling jewellery is different to modelling clothing. You kind of have to draw attention to the pieces that you're wearing. You really need to make the jewellery the focus of what this is. This is your opportunity to practice your walking, see what it is that you can do with this amazing jewellery. I was like, okay, well, can I just buy this, like, right now? Or you can give it to me for free any time you want. Because um, we don't have a shop in Mogger. If I become a working model and I just have so much money, I'll just be like, yeah, I'll just buy that, 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 that. To do well in this runway show is a must. There's no ifs and or buts. I have to do good. You know, I have to give it my absolute all to prove that I could compete in a fashion show and I could stand out. Like I want to do it for myself, for my mum and for my uncle. At home I work with kids with special needs. And I do it because of my uncle who had Down syndrome. He passed away three years ago, but he was my biggest inspiration. He taught me that no matter what obstacles you have in your way in life, that there is always a way around it and there's always a way past it. She's actually really giving it a good go. Yes. I think the rest of them are kind of playing. The rest of them aren't really wanting to walk. This is really cool, which I'm a little surprised by. When you've got the weight of someone, a brand as big as Frost on your shoulders. I'm nervous. This is a big deal. Girls, just come over here. Let's have a chat. Okay, I just had to gather you guys around. You've had 15 minutes here with a client right in front of you. And unfortunately, only one of you has grabbed the bull by the horns and tried to show her what you can do. And that's Cassidy. Oh, well. Yeah. I'd do anything to impress the client. So I don't get why you wouldn't pick up the biggest piece, layer a few of them up, and do your best strut across this room and try and get her attention. Get out there. Show what you can do. I don't want to be embarrassed. Come on, five minutes, show me what you got. That was a wake-up call for all of us to make an impact. It reminded me that this is a huge opportunity and a client is counting on all of us. I'm ready. I'm going to bring it eight. Okay, girls, it's time for you to get to the biggest show of your life. Go get ready. Jen, Megan, and I will be watching, we'll be judging you, and please do Swarovski proud. Thank you. I think everyone just realised that they really need to step up their game. This is a proper client and actually a, a big deal. Oh, God. Like, the pressure is on. Some might think it's a bit too late to become a model, but I don't think so. I 
don't want to be a model since the age of nine, but both my mother and my father always encourage my brother and I to study, so I have always studied my whole life. This is my last shot. I want to show you my family as well as everyone watching that I can do this. I don't mind if Sam Drake's collapse on me. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I am ready. Hi, okay, how's my confidence today? I sucked at the last runway like I did the worst. Thanks, Sam. It was incredible. It was just like an action stage. Stage one. Stage one. Stage one. This is the second runway I've ever done in my whole life. But I'm actually so nervous. I think if I was doing better, I would have found it as hard. And they did say that I improved, which I'm so excited about, like improving and stuff, because I do really want to improve. But the improvements I'm making up big enough for the level of the competition that we're in. I'm not crying yet. I'm just watering up. <laughs> I'm just having a little water. As you know, this morning wasn't great. I, I was really, really concerned with what was going to happen tonight. So step it up to the next level. Keep yourself composed. Don't, don't lose it. As soon as you come out of that curtain, even beforehand, you've got to be in character. You have to be on. Even you don't get out, fidget, stop, and they go, oh, that's right, I'm meant to be standing here like this. It's too late. You've got to do it before you even get on stage. I can't stress it enough. This is huge for Swarovski. It's the one event that they do all year. They spend a lot of money on it. So you guys have to do a great job. Okay. Do you mess this up, you deserve it. to go home. Need to bring okay? it. Good luck. Good luck. See you out there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, Dan. Seeing Megan and Alex, I really felt the pressure. This is actually really happening. Hair and makeup team, I have all models now, please. It's pretty crazy. We're doing something that's so professional. It just really hits them. You good? Nervous? Yeah, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I feel really unconfident. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I don't wanna go home. Why? Why do you wanna go home? I just feel like uh, I'm not doing well. Which I'm not, like, obviously. I felt a lot of pressure. It's such an iconic brand. It is their biggest event in their social calendar. All of that, on top of, like, being in the bottom two twice, is a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. It's making me feel really anxious, actually. Yeah. But you're getting through. Yeah, but there's a difference between getting just getting through and doing well. Like, yeah. It's like at school. Like, if you just get D's or C's, you pass. You don't want to just be doing, like, the bare minimum, which is what I'm doing. Okay? Like, quite cool. I just... I felt like I wasn't good enough to be doing what I was doing. I am really nervous that I'm not going to do well, that I'm going to be at the bottom again, and I kind of just felt really low well and then I wanted to go home. Just saying I want to go home, it's like, it feels like I'm giving up. Here. And I mean, from 
everyday people that are just watching to the bigger socialites in town. I'm nervous. Like, this is big. Modeling jewelry is something we've never done before. It's different from modeling clothing. You have to be able to walk pretty robotic and stiff as to not take, you know, eyes away from the jewelry. It's not going to be easy. first time for Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Australia. I have to say, like, I did hear a little bit of feedback about this morning, so I was a little bit worried about tonight, but I was really impressed. I was really proud of you. You look gorgeous. So, Marg, what did you think? I was a little nervous this morning, but in saying that, I think they just, they were brilliant. They really surprised me, and I think they did Swarovski proud. Wow. But there's so much more at stake than just putting on an amazing show tonight. You were competing for a chance to feature in the new Crystal Dust campaign for Shirovsky. Only one of you can take home this incredible prize. So Mark, who had me chosen? Well, it was certainly very tough. But the girl that I've chosen, she sparkled. And so that winner is... Victoria. I just won. I just won a bet. <laughs> I can't believe. I cannot believe what just happened. It's massive. I don't yeah. cry very often. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. So, Victoria, you've absolutely outdone yourself and you scored a perfect 10. I actually just got a 10. On the runway for the Series Band Fashion Week Australia. What? <laughs> so let's take a look at that leaderboard to see where the rest of you place. Super close through the middle. Oh and Cassidy, can I close your I know. I'm. I'm so happy with that. I can't believe that. I got a 9. A 9 out of 10 for a Swarovski fashion show. I could not be happier. I, I've done myself proud. I've done my family proud. I was not at the bottom of the leaderboard. I wasn't at the top. I was like, 
do the joint fourth or joint fifth. So some I was going through your mind. I mean, 6.5 isn't great. It's a lot better than a five. It's good to not be at the bottom. I'm on the up and up. I'm soaring maybe a bit slower than I would like, but I'm getting there eventually. <laughs> Being at the bottom with Jesse and Christy, it's just a massive punch in the face, like getting hit by a truck. I'm not emotional about it. Going into the photo shoot, you know, I'm going to really show that I can handle being a model and I am a model. Yeah. Coming up, my draw drops to the floor. Top model superstars. Holy moly. Show the girls how it's done. Amazing. Every photo looks so good. Oh my gosh, they're like expecting us to do that. That quickly, like... <laughs> in the industry. Some of his high-profile clients include Miranda Kerr, Kate Blanchett, and our own Megan Gale and Jennifer Hawkins. Oh, wow. Please welcome Jez Smith. Hey. hey, girls. Jez is a huge part of the top model family. He's shot with us for over four series and sat on the judging panel for two. I'm a really big fan of Jez. Yes, I love you. You're so cool. Girls, as you know, this week you're learning how to be a real working model. Today, you're going to be expected to model like a pro. Under some hugely challenging circumstances. Firstly, you'll be expected to create bold, daring and unexpected poses. And secondly, you need to figure out how to do all of that while working and modelling with each other. That's right, this is a group photo shoot. You'll be judged individually. But the fact that you're able to work within a group is something that we'll take into consideration. Because it's a group shot, I think it's going to be hard to stand out. I was feeling pretty nervous. I wanted to do well this week. Now, because this is so tricky, we've invited three professional models to show you how it's done. Oh, my God. They're three of our most successful and in-demand past contestants from Australia's Next Top Model. One of them walked 17 shows internationally following her top model win. One has made the big time in the US after being scouted by Paul Marciano and becoming a guest girl. The other has walked runways for Miu Miu, The Row and Dion Lee. Please welcome winner of Series 6, Amanda Ware. Runners up on series five and seven, respectively, Cassie Van Den Dungen and Simone Hotsnagel. My jaw dropped to the floor. When does when does that happen to us? Like when do we get that hot? Because like they look really, really good. <laughs> Cassie, what have you been doing since leaving the show? Well, straight after the show, I got to work on Portman's and I did a Portman's campaign. After that, I went overseas. I worked for Calvin Klein. I worked for Miu Miu, KTZ and Anya Heimarsh, which were, like, just amazing. They were amazing. You were amazing in those. Amanda, you've just flown in from the UK. What have you been doing over there? I used to do fashion shows in New York and London and Paris. And then I just decided to go more into commercial modelling. I've worked with clients like Tom Ford and Stella McCartney. Just really constant, but hard work. <laughs> So, so Nine, where are you living at the moment? I moved to Los Angeles about two years ago and I met Paul and then I shot my first guest campaign. Then I had my first billboard after that. Guess is one of the clients I've always wanted to work with. So I definitely look up to her, you know, go, wow, you were in my position once and I can get there one day. So girls, are you ready to see how it's done? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do this. Come on, girls. So we'll start off with something quite classic. That's it, beautiful. 
Okay, swap that around so you two go back to back. It was so crazy how quickly they just moved their bodies and it was so natural and comfortable. Nice and strong, that's great. It was like, holy moly. Beautiful. Can you see what's happening on the monitor? Yeah. yeah. It made me realise that we needed to really work together to pull out such amazing shots. One, two, three, go. That's it. And again, one, two, three, go. Beautiful. See how it's done? Yeah. Every photo looks so good. Oh my god, they're like expecting us to do that that quickly. Like, <sighs> Okay girls, we've seen how it's done. Now it's your turn. Do you want to know who you're working with? Yes. First group, Elena, Cassidy and Christy. I was so happy when they said I was with Cassidy and Christy. I think we all have such different looks and we were all going to work so well together. Jordan, Daisy and Belinda, your group too. <laughs> I was really happy with my group. <laughs> Belinda's one of my best friends in the house and Jordan probably will be by next week. Group three is Victoria, Sabine and Linnea. Okay. Hello. And our final group is Jesse and Summer. There's only two of you, so this could be easier for you or it could be harder. It just depends on how you work together and if you make the most of it. Yeah. It's just me and Jesse, which is just the two of us. I am excited by that. I think that we could work really well together, but I am a bit worried because she's so much taller than me. Okay, off you go. Get up to style and get some practice in. Thank you. How are you feeling about today's shoot? It's a bit daunting, like, doing things in groups. I mean, like, being second youngest by, like, half a month. I'm 16 years old. I'm still in school. I'm a bit more of a tomboy. Being a working model, it's not really a normal day for me. Is there, like, any advice or anything? <laughs> Ask questions of each other. Say, are you comfortable with this? Do you want to do this? It's about being creative as well. Listen to Jez, listen to what he's telling you to do, because he will give you direction on what he would like as well. And make sure you're all on the same page. Yeah, of course. But once you guys get in there and you get in like a rhythm and everything, it'll be sweet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it'll really test the girls today, but from what I've heard of these girls, I'm sure we'll get incredible photos. All right, girls, have an amazing shoot. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Lovely to talk to you. I'm excited. I think it's really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Her makeup done. So then we got to see our outfits. Oh my god! Quite interesting. Nothing that I was usually wear to go to university, that's for sure. <laughs> the latex outfit was so hard to get into. I feel like a plastic Barbie doll. <laughs> they had to lube us up everywhere to get this stuff on. Like... It was tight. Cannot breathe tight. Honestly, I couldn't move my legs further than this. <laughs> Look at you, lady. Hi. Like your outfits? Yeah. Fierce. <laughs> The brief day is all about strong and bold poses. Latex can really help the girls do that. It's tight on the body, so they can make some incredible body shapes, but they have to be strong in their poses. There's absolutely nowhere to hide in latex. Okay, let's go. That's it, girls. It's a good start. Beautiful. That's great, girls. The tension's really nice. The profile's really good. This week I scored well in the, the challenge. I definitely wanted to smash out a good photo. It's nice and strong, girls. Hold it. Being in such a restricting outfit was a bit of a struggle for me. I could barely breathe, but I just got to put on a brave face. Beautiful. I needed to show everything that I'm made of. And I'm not going to stop until I get that photo. Okay, three more frames. Beautiful. Make this the best one. Good. Got it? Yeah. Thanks, cool. girl. Thank you. Thanks, girls. Thank you. Put a lot of effort in. Thank you so much. Good job, girls. I'll come and see you in a second. Did a good job. You okay? What's happening? Set from the photo shoot, I could barely breathe. Are you feeling really hot? Yeah. Okay, yeah. don't even start taking, take your mind off. Hey, um, can we start getting some stuff off? She's just getting really hot. I was terrified. I was like, I just needed to catch my breath and I couldn't. Priscilla's model management. And we'll 
feature in an eight-page editorial spread for L Australia. They will also get a $20,000 trip to New York during Fashion Week, thanks to Colgate Optic White. And drive away in a stylish Mazda 2 hatch. You okay? Are you feeling really hot? Yeah. Just okay. Don't even okay. start taking. Take your mind off. Hey, um, can we start getting some stuff on? She's just getting really hot. When I walked off set from the photo shoot, I felt so sick and I was terrified. I was like, I just needed to catch my breath and I couldn't. What's wrong? Because you're just getting really hot. I've been really oh. sick. I've been really sick. I'm getting like a chest infection and I just like feel like I'm about to have like asthma attack or something. Get ready. Open your chest. You can't like that. Side one. Breathe. Big deep breaths. Go. I take this thing off. My um, bralette that I was wearing being latex was so tight against my chest that I was restricted from breathing. Okay. Thank um, you. Okay. Your chest hurts? Yeah, the doctor's coming tonight. I've been sick for the past few days and I've been just like... You know, shutting it out of my head, trying to get through everything. And I think today it's just finally caught up with me. Sit, shut your eyes for just five minutes by yourself, okay? So I was scared I was going to let you girls no, down. No, you did not let us down. You did phenomenal. You shouldn't be scared. Yeah, it's a group not. effort. Exactly. It is. We all work together. We all did really well. So you should be very proud. Exactly. I'm glad that I was put in a group with you. Oh, yay! Oh, that's a bit cute. Yeah, I'm like really not in this group. No, oh, that's okay. Don't try and not be challenge I got a six which I'm really upset about going to the photo shoot I need to pick my game up wow hi Daisy Belinda and Jordan all right show us what you got how many set girls our idea was me and Jordan were going to be like the forces either pushing or pulling Belinda and she would kind of be like the magnet pulling us into her something like that okay girls one two three then you can't you in, okay? Yeah. If you're going to do something tricky like that. You can count like yourself in with Jazz, I guess. If you guys have yourself through. When you find your position, let me know, and yeah. then I'll go one, two, three, okay? All right, one, two, three, go. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. get your balance, all right? When you're ready. It's not a rush, guys, so take it easy. Okay. You'd rather one great shot than 10,000 weird ones. Nice relax your mouths for me. Daisy, yeah, bend your knee. Just watch your faces. Linda, Daisy, and Jordan. Oh, my God. Um, probably one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever watched. They didn't have any connection. They looked like they were fighting against each other all the time. Daisy, don't look terrified. They know I have resting bitch face. Daisy, you do front on. Your faces just keep really beautiful. I, I was really focused on trying to work my mouth and keep my body fierce at the same time. Kick out your bum as much as you can. Like that. It's strong. Daisy did need a lot of direction. Daisy, show what it looks like with a hand on the knee. I think she feels a bit awkward. She doesn't really know what she's doing. Daisy, we're losing your neck when you do that. Yeah, no. Let's just regroup. You guys need to kind of calm down a little bit. You're trying so hard, it's all looking really desperate. I mean, why is this so important to you? Because modelling's what we want to yeah. do, and yeah. in order to do that, you, yeah. there's so many pretty girls out there, you don't want to just be a pretty girl, you want to be, like, the next cover of Vogue, you want to be... So what's going to distinguish you for the rest of the pretty girls? Confidence is and Forget impressive. the confidence. You're going to show them your portfolio. What are they going to look at? Your photos. Right, yeah. This week's the important week. Because yeah. if you don't get this right... Somebody's going to go home. Each one of you needs to have an amazing photo from this. It's honestly just, it feels terrible. I needed a really good shot. I'm worried about it. Okay, one more frame. This is your last frame. Done. Done. Thanks, girls. You're so well done, girls. You tried hard. Thank you. See you later. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't feel comfortable walking out of it. Like, I yeah, I didn't feel like I sitting up in. Trying to find a shot where all three are killing it. It's really gonna be tough. And then look at me. Victoria and Lania are both beautiful girls. And they've got such strong looks um, and such strong presence. I just hope my look can stand up with us. Hey, girl. Hey, ladies. Hi. Wow. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
best in outfits you've got on. Our outfits looks really cool. We are like we Power Rangers. This is cool. Fight to fight. Sabine and Lanier. They actually worked really well as a group. They knew what worked for them and they got into rhythm. Okay, we've got five minutes left, so we've got to make these count. But what you're doing now, we need to bash out about five or six of them. Okay. So we can get good faces in all of them. Yeah, one, two, three, go. That's it. This is incredible. You guys are killing it right three, now. Three, go. Hold it. That's it. Nice and strong, girls. This is your last frame. One, two, three, go. We got it. I'm so happy. Thank God. Well done. Well done, girl. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, you did so well. Yes. That shoot was so quick. Alex was impressed and Alex is hard to impress, so so that's good. Yeah. Well, we really I'm happy with you. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Like, yeah. Over the moon. Is that Superman? I don't know how Superman like, flies. See how my legs are? I felt really low this week. I had no confidence at all. But I don't wanna go home right now. Uh, you can you know the leg. Not leg. I just really wanna do well and kill it. <laughs> So, there's just two of you. There are. Which could work in your favour, or it could make it really tricky. You've got to kind of give me the same kind of composition that the three girls are giving, and there's only two of you. Just bear in mind the height difference as well. Yeah. Ultimately, it'd be great if you both looked like you were the same height. Let's work together. Yeah. But we'll really work together. Yeah. Okay? Jessie's so much taller than me, and I definitely don't want to look short. I really hope that that doesn't come across in the photo. Yeah, tall, so I can lean down more. That's it, girls. Nice. Cool. Remember, it's also about giving us variety. So pick a position, but within that position, make little changes, okay? Summer, if you can lift your, that leg up even more, make it more pronounced. We do practice a lot in our normal wear, but latex was very restricting. I think it's like... It's a lot harder when you've got the latex on. Okay, what next? Do you want to put your... Do you want to go like this? Yep. Some of you go higher with your arm. She doesn't ignore it. You need some more attention, Summer. Summer, and she's got a beautiful face, and she's set, you know she's got this great body as well. She just doesn't know how to use it yet. Yeah, Summer, I think it's a warm arch in your back, and it's really good for it. It's a pow. Done. Done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really tried hard to pose in a different way that kind of accentuated my body shape. I really hope that that came across. I hope that I did well. I am nervous. You never actually know until you see the photo. Next, now I'll be scoring your photos. The competition fires up. Oh, Jesus. And Daisy drops a bombshell. It's like all I think about. Why? 
quite got it, but I think we nearly have it. Do you think you've done your best to make yourself look taller? I think did attempt to, but my dress was very restricting. Not that that's an excuse. I would have liked it to have been a little bit more creative. It was almost just like, okay, let's just stand, you know, side by side. Because you're doing the same pose, it really accentuates how tall you are, Jesse. Yeah. Jesse, I actually really like this shot of you. It's really powerful, it's really strong, it's really dynamic. I feel like you've done a fantastic job and I gave you an 8.5. Oh, thank you. You were confident, you were strong, you committed to whatever poses you were going to do. I gave you an 8. Thank you. Every part of your body is considered and you look gorgeous. So I'm giving you a 7, Jesse. Thank you. That's an overall score of 29.5. Summer, this is incredible. Like the eyes, flawless. Yay! Oh, yes! Yes! However, there is just a bit of an obvious height difference as well, which I personally think you could have tried to make yourself appear tall with a different kind of pose rather than matching Jessie's arms. Yeah. You need to be a lot more aware of your body because it is a head to toe thing with modelling always. So that said, I'm going to give you a seven. Thank you. I think the thing that's letting you down is your body shape. Yeah. I'm going to score you a seven. So I think this is an improvement, but I still think that the expression is a little bit unfocused. And I thought it was your responsibility, not Jessie, so much to try and make you look taller. You've got this incredible body. Yeah. So figure out what to do with it. So this week, though, I'm giving you a 6.5. Thank you. That gives you a 27 out of 40. My score makes me a bit nervous, um, but I'm not freaking out just yet because there's still other girls to school. Thanks, ladies. You can collect your photos. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Next up, Sabine, Linnea and Victoria. Victoria, so you had to work as a group. How did that go? I think we did well. It was, I think everything flows very nicely. And I think we had a great time, which was very important as well. So let's have a look. Ooh. Oh my wow. god. That looks awesome. Victoria, are you jumping up there? I am. <laughs> You're suspended. You look so, so good. good. You look amazing. Beanie, look at you. You look like a fox. Like, I think I look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I think you look like Bella Hadid here. I look at that and I can see that in French L or some magazine like that. I think it's yes. extraordinary. I think your face you. is so beautiful. I'm giving you a nine. Thank you. Hold the phone. It's not a ten, it's a nine. Calm down. <laughs> so your total score was 31.5 out of 40. Thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Kind of felt like doing a cartwheel or something. So Victoria, I think you look incredible here. I think you're very present and strong to the camera. I'm going to give you a seven. Thank you. So, Victoria, that's an overall score of 30. Linnea, look, you're so blessed in that you've got one of those faces that photographs beautifully. You don't actually need to do too much. <laughs> Bless you. So I'm going to give you a seven. Thank you. So that gives you an overall score of 28 out of 40. <laughs> Thank you. I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard again. Right now I'm feeling really, really worried. so sick in the photo shoot. I'm praying that it doesn't come across in the photo. So do you think you have the shot? I hope so. Let's have a look. You guys are making, you're all so confident. 
Christy, I love this photo of you. You know, your body positioning, the way you've got your butt out and your legs are strong and, and you look so much taller than what you are. But it's a nine from me, sweetheart. Well done. Thank you so much. So that's a 30 out of 40. Look at that. Elena, I love this picture. I think you look great. Your face is beautiful. And I've given you an eight. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Elena, that's 33 out of 40. Yeah. Thank you. Cassidy. Wow. This shot. You look so strong, so sophisticated. And I think your face looks really beautiful. I'm going to give you a 9.5. Are you kidding? Yes. You've really done an amazing job here. Thank you. Well done. So, Cassidy, that's a 34.5. That puts you in the lead. Oh, my I feel amazing, and I just can't wait for the next photo shoot now to just keep stepping it up. So, I'm really excited. Good. Oh, my God. I was on top of the leaderboard. From going to be being one of the bottom girls to the top was the most amazing feeling in the world. Look, you're on the top of the leaderboard. Jordan and Daisy, step forward. There's only one more group to go and I'm still on the bottom of the leaderboard. This is like it really. Hi girls. Hi. 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 I'm so scared. I just really want to be here so hopefully I did well enough in the photo shoot to be here. Daisy, how did you feel the three of you went working as a group? I've never done a group shot with, you know, so many girls, so I was just focused on, like, getting a strong picture, so I, I don't know. Did it feel like you were synchronised, or did it feel like you were disjointed? I felt a bit awkward mm -hmm. for parts of it. I'm really interested to see this shot, because you're going to really nervous. So yeah. yeah. All right, let's have a look. Wow, Belinda. My butt. Oh, my goodness. Are you girls happy with this? I guess I'm not terrified or horrified of it. No, I don't mind it. This shot's good, but it was like a needle in a haystack trying to find it. The three of you didn't connect at all. Alex, did the girls fall into this by themselves or did no, you guys have to... No, went in there, put them in, oh, faced them. because see, that's not good, guys. Time, okay, shake it out, try and figure out something. And it just went pear shaped. It's time to score you individually. Belinda, you're up first. You really stand out for me. Yay! You're very strong. I think you've done a terrific job. So I'm giving you a 9.5. Thank you. Well done, Belinda. Your body shape is incredible. Thank you. This one for me is an eight. Thank you. Just be a bit more confident when you're attacking a position. Get into it with confidence, with conviction. I've got to give you a seven. Thank you. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so, Belinda, that's a total score of 30.5. So, you are safe. You can come and collect your photo. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. I'm really happy with my score. Yes. Yeah. I'm so worried about Daisy and Jordan. So, Jordan, you're up next. I think your face looks incredible in this shot, actually. Really? Yeah. The thing that bugs me, your hands, they, they're That's really, you know, they're clinging on to Belinda. For this shot, I'm going to give you a seven. Thank you. So, Gerald, and that's a 29 out of 40. Well done. You can collect your photo. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jordan. So, Summer, you're currently at the bottom of the leaderboard with one girl left to score. Daisy, what do you think of this shot? I've always been, like, really conscious of my mouth the point that it's like all I think about when I'm shooting and then I think the rest of me just kind of loses whatever 
it needed to produce a good photo. It's not like you have a second head growing out of your head. It's just a little thing that you've got to w- watch. You're trying to sort your face out, but you're trying to sort your body out, and none of it, none of it was happening. How would you feel if you went home today? I'd be downtrodden because I'm not young, like, we're modelling age. And, like, all of these girls to me are so young, like, 16 and 17, and then I feel like the, one of the older ones here. I don't know. Exactly. I just feel like at my age, I like, kind of need to be getting it by now. Like, the time is ticking on the modelling book. <laughs> How so, old are you? 19. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I started when I was 18. Yeah. No, it's not. You can it's start not. at 19. I moved to Sydney from Perth when I was 19. I'm 41 now. It's not too late. And that's so rude. I got very upset. It was very insensitive and quite disrespectful. It's just a bloody number. What's wrong with me being older? Dama, please step forward. This is torture. Oh, oh, I've been doing it twice, man. It's actually like three times now. Oh, thanks. Sorry. Yeah, third time. How are you feeling? Being in the bottom two, three times. Like, it's just so frustrating that I keep ending up here because I like, I don't know, I just I have so much more that I can do and I really want to sh- like show you that I can do it. It's just so frustrating that I'm not getting there. Okay Daisy, it's time to score you. You need a 27 to stay safe. I am freaking out. Oh God, please say something at me. Like please, like let me stay here another week. For me, I think you have improved with your face. From your head down, though, I think it's a little bit forced. I'm going to give you a seven. I don't think your face is that bad either, you know, but it looks like you're not really committing to the pose at all, um, which is a shame because there's some elements of what you're doing that are really fantastic. Um, so I'm going to give you a 7.5. Thank you. So, Daisy, in order to stay safe, you need a six or more from Alex. Daisy, this shot, it's it's a good shot of you, but I've got to say, this lighting is brilliant. Everybody survives this lighting. And when you've got really good light, then what you need to do is you need to concentrate on what you're going to give to it. Some bit of a sparkle, bit of, like, you know, eyes, like, you know, connection. Um, I think you're really pretty. Get over your mouth. You know, when you smile, you look like Elle McPherson. You know, it's so just sort of, you got those dimples, you got that kind of thing going on. Don't be hung up about it. Um, I, I wish yeah. the score could be better, but for this shot, I'm going to give you a six. Something I'm saying? Yeah. Daisy, that gives you a total of 27.5. That means you are safe. Oh, my God. Summer, I'm so sorry. It means you are no longer in the running to be Australia's next top model. Sorry, Summer. so much i've literally had such an amazing time and thank you for keeping me here this long <laughs> thank you you've kept Pleasure. you here daisy congratulations you can come and get your photo thanks guys guys can you not who <laughs> <laughs> the hell is gonna make amazing vegan pasta now <laughs> yes i'm safe okay but come back all right actually like it made sense to me She's been there twice in a row. Like, unless these people are the cruelest people ever, they're not going to keep her for a third one, right? Coming in your cuddle, being such a joy to be around. Keep that positive mood. Oh. Thank you. It does make me actually quite sad that I don't get to finish this journey and I don't get to continue to learn and grow. It's sad that it's ending. I've just had the most incredible time. I've been so happy. I've met so many amazing people. It's been so incredible. I can't even describe how insane it's been. I'm really kind of excited for my future. Like, I have been put on a platform that's so incredible and I've done so many amazing things and I'm just so excited to see what happens after.
history. How am I going to make home skin if I hate what I look like? <laughs> we'll reveal. Oh my gosh! Someone's true colors. Really? If you really want to be a top model, you should be saying thank you. This is amazing. I all of a sudden feel like Snow White. 